Hi, I'm going to demonstrate how to sharpening the do instrument. Before I get started, I have to prepare my armamentarium. Now I have my loop light and also the extra light for illumination. And I have the testic instrument to be sharpening. And in this case, it is a sickle scaler. And I have a sharpening stone. And I have some gauze and I have some water in a cup and I have a brush, cleaning brush. So with all of this armamentarium, I can go ahead to do the sharpening. But before I sharp the instrument, I have to test the sharpness of the instrument first. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the testic and also the instrument. I will use my non-dominant hand to hold the test stick in such way. Using my thumb and index, hold it in the bottom of the bottom third of the test stick. Play the stick at 12 o'clock position. And then um, stable my non-dominant hand on the table countertop and place it in front of me. And now I'm going to grab the instrument to be sharpening, which is the sickle scaler with my dominant hand, I will hold it as uh, using the uh, modified hand grasp. So I will position the tip towards me. And I so the, uh, the testing blade will be on the left side of the stick. And now I'm going to focus my fingers on the right side of the stick and then place the instrument at 12 and then gently slide a little bit towards the stick so it will in a position kind of like uh, the active uh, uh, using to uh, 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 remove the calculus so it will bite to the stick and then I have to test the whole blade which include the heel third mid third and tip third so I will apply some uh, pressure onto the lateral side of the testic and then release it. Test all the third, heel third, mid third, and the tip third. The sharp instrument uh, we bite onto the stick and when we release it, it will uh, produce metallic ping sound. However, the dull instrument, it will glide along the stick. So now I already test the, this side of the blade. So for the other side, I will just simply rotate the instrument. The tips will away from me. I will same thing using the modified hand grasp hold the instrument, fulcrum on the right side of the stick, and then the handle terminal shank will be in front of me, which is now behind the test stick. And also I have to test the whole blade, which include heel, mid, and tip to decide the dullness and sharpness of the instrument. I will apply appro appropriate pressure against the side uh, the left the left side of the test stick starting from the heel also i tilt the, in, uh, the handle a little bit towards the test stick to replicate the uh, it, uh the calculus remove uh, position start from the heel pressure release pressure release mid third tip third So the same thing is like the sharp instrument will play, will bite onto the stick and produce when released will produce the metallic sound. However, the dull side, the dull area will glide along the stick. So now I already test the two blade of the same end. I will do the same thing for the other end. So. I will do it, repeat the same procedure. 
first towards me. Fulcrum, two a little bit. From heel, mid, and tip with pressure to the left side of the stick. And then rotate it away from me, the tip. Fulcrum. Till a little bit against the statistic. Start from the heel. Mid. And tip. So the sharp instrument will bite onto the stick. And when released, will produce a metallic sound and the dull one will just glide along. So now I already test all the four blades of the sickle stick gala. So I will have the general idea of how sharp or how dull the instrument. So it will help me uh, to decide which degree I need to sharp this instrument. Now I can move on to uh, sharpening the instrument. Before I get started, I will use the gauze to dip into the water so that I can rubricate the stone. Now, I will use my non-dominant hand to pound grasp the instrument to be sharpening. I will uh, hold, hold it with the palm grass using my thumb embrace the top shank, top, uh, thumb, uh, top shank and then the tip facing towards me with the terminal shank at 12 o'clock so the working blade will be on my right hand side now with the lubricant side stone, I will stable my left, uh, my non-dominant hand, my stable on the table counter. And now I'm gonna grab the lubricant stone, will uh, place against the working end and at 12 o'clock, and then I will gently slide to one o'clock, I will apply some appropriate pressure to the side of the blade and also with the same amount of stroke, short and up and down and stroke on the side of the blade, starting from the heel and then move on to the mid and then move on to the tip. Okay, now I'm going to start. Now move to the mid. Now move to the tip. I finish with the thumb stroke. Now I'm going to grab a, grab a gauze. Be carefully wipe the tip. I will start from the heel wipe towards the tip and now I will do the same thing for the other blade of the same end what I'm going to do is I will rotate it with the tip away from me I will position it with the terminal shank uh, at 12 o'clock palm grasp with the thumb abrade, embrace the top, uh, top terminal shank and now I'll staple my non-dominal hand on the table counter. I'll use the lubricant stone face to the blade on the right hand side and at a 12 o'clock position and gently open to one o'clock. I will also uh, start from the heel to mid and then to the tip. Apply appropriate pressure with the short up and down stroke with the downstroke finish to finish the sharpening. Now I will go, uh, I will start.
Give it me. And then kiss. So I'll finish with the dance stroke. Now I will do the same thing. Use the gauze to carefully wipe the tip. What I'm going to do is from the heel to tip. Carefully. Next, I will do the same thing on the other end. I'll just flip it. First, the tip face towards me and position the terminal shank at the 12 o'clock using the palm grass and my thumb is embracing the top terminal shank i will uh, place on the countertop for stabilization with my elbow and then i'll grab my lubric uh, stein of stone face toward the working end at 12 o'clock and then open it to one now i will start with the heel to meet and then to tip, maintain the same angle with the correct pressure to the side of the tip, to the side of the blade, and then with the short up and down stroke. I'm going to start. Heel. Meet. Tip with the thumb stroke to finish. Now I will do the same thing. Use the gauze to be careful wipe down the metal sludge from the heel to tip. Next, I will gonna finish the other side of the blade. I just simply rotate it around. The tip will face away from me. Using the same pen, um, uh, uh, pump grass and the, my thumb embrace the top shank of the terminal shank. Terminal shank will play a, a place at 12 o'clock. The working blade will be on my right hand side. I will grab the stone, the lubricant stone, side face to the working end at 12 o'clock and then open it to one o'clock. And then I will use the same stroke, short up and down stroke with the appropriate lateral pressure and the same amount of uh, up and down stroke starting with the heel and to the mid and then to the tip now i'm gonna start Now, I will do the same thing. Use the gauze to carefully wipe the metal sludge away on the blade from the heel to tip carefully. Now, I already sharpening the four blade of this sickle scaler. I'm not finished yet because we have to test the sharpness of the instrument to make sure we have a good outcome of the sharpening procedure. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing the same thing as I shop the instrument before I shop the instrument. I will use the test stick again. I will use my thumb, non-dominal hand, thumb and think, thumb and index hold the bottom third of the test stick. Position at 12 o'clock and then stable my elbow on the countertop. And then I will test all the blade of the instrument so face tips towards me and then stable line my fulcrum till the, the terminal shank a little bit towards the testing test the heel first with pressure mid tip So the sharp instrument will bite on the stick and then when released, it will produce the metallic sound. The dull one, it will glide around. So now I know the, sh the outcome of the sharpening is good. And then for the other, for the other end of the, 
other side of the blade, I would just simply rotate it, the tip away from me, focus my fingers, and then place the terminal shank in front of me, which is behind the stick. I would test the whole blade, include the heel, mid, and third. I would position the terminal shank slightly to, uh, towards the stick on the right hand side and then test the heel. Meet. And the tip. Same thing, the sharp instrument will bite onto the instrument and bite onto the stick. When released, it will produce metallic ping sound. If it's the dull one, it will just glide along the test stick. So next, I will move on to the other end of the instrument. I will do the same thing to test the sharpness of the two blades. Now, with the testic test, I have, I can make sure this instrument is well sharped and it's now a sharp instrument. So, at the end, I had to clean the stone. I can use the brush to clean the stone under the running water to remove this metallic sludge. And then, I will back the instrument and then autoclave it and the stick stone the clean stones and the brush which can be autoclave i will put it together as the sharpening kit uh, and you will be autoclave for the next time use so my demonstration of the sharpening of the sickle scaler is done thank you